In this short video, we will show you ArcScene generated images to help visualize the dimensions and positions of frozen debris lobes, or FDLs for short. Each scene is generated from a LiDAR-derived digital elevation model from data collected in 2015, with the land surface shown in green and the background in blue. As these images do not include vegetation, it is easier to spot the FDLs. Frozen debris lobes are slow-moving landslides in permafrost, many of which are located adjacent to the Dalton Highway in the Brooks Range. In this scene, we see three FDLs located at approximately milepost 219 on the highway. FDLA is the largest and the closest to the highway. Here, we have included a block in the model to simulate a semi-truck for scale. FDLA is about 1,200 meters in length, 260 meters in width, and 20 meters high at its toe. As of August 2016, FDLA was less than 35 meters from the Dalton Highway, as seen in this photograph. In this 3D visualization, you can see the scale of FDLA relative to that semi-truck model as you head north. About 5 kilometers to the south of FDLA is FDLD, which is currently the fastest moving FDL at over 20 meters per year. Its fast motion has caused the soil to stretch out destroying surface vegetation and exposing massive ice in its catchment. The general lack of vegetation can be seen in this photograph. Across the Dietrich River Valley from the Dalton Highway is the fast-moving FDL-7. Its lower portion has elongated into a tongue with little vegetation and some exposed ice. These features can also be seen in this photograph. Here are two frozen debris lobes side by side, FDL4 to the right and FDL5 to the left. Even though they are neighbors, they demonstrate different mechanisms of movement. While the rest of the FDLs are moving at faster and faster rates, FDL11 is currently very slow, but historic imagery indicates that it moved more than 10 meters per year in the 1970s and 80s. Thank you for watching. We should be pretty close right now. The agent said it was about 12 miles from Highway 10, and that was Highway 10 back there. But you know, we should have asked for better directions at the last gas station. Listen, I've never gotten us lost before. <laughs>